episode of our sesi program today we are honored with the presence of krishna teacher uh, she is working as a high school teacher in government hss punnamod and she is a very active and energetic and charming teacher so we are all honored mm-hmm. and it's a blessing for you all today uh, our krishna teacher will handle with you standard 10 unit 2 to make you prepare for the upcoming ssc examination so i welcome krishna teacher to our ssc program on behalf of dio neya chingara and all of you welcome krishna teacher thank you lisha teacher thank you okay so i once again welcome one and all so now i hand over the mic to krishna teacher to carry on the class welcome once again thank you hi dears good evening good evening teacher good evening teacher hope you are all fine there yes teacher yes ma'am have we gone through the second unit yes teacher have you started revising yes teacher yes teacher okay teacher. okay now uh, last week you uh, anju teacher handled the first unit isn't it Teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, now uh, we have three lessons in our second unit. Uh, what is the name of our second unit? What is its name? The the frames. The frames. The frames. Okay. Uh, now, uh, what is the? Uh, by the way, the first chapter in second unit. and uh, the fourth one project in the whole text for the project, project tiger. tiger yes project tiger what is it about about making films with animals okay can you just uh, what's your name the one with specs gauri nanda okay gauri nanda can you just give me the gist of that uh, chapter i will uh, surely i will help you yes ma'am In the beginning of the chapter, Satyajit Ray uh, tells us his experience about making films in Hollywood and how yes. he came to see uh, the Alsatian dog named Rin Tin Tin and the collie named Lassie. He tells that yeah. both of the dogs were so talented that the director could make them do any kinds of act. Yeah. Then uh, he tells us about how reverently. they are treated in the hollywood uh, there were standards for dogs and it surprised him carry on carry on i'm listening after that he tells us how he managed uh, to get trained lavens for the film's name film named birds directed by alfred hitchcock Uh, the notices were placed all over the united states and someone replied within few days and they managed to get trained ravens after that he speaks about the difficulties of tra- of making indian films with uh, animal trained animals in them especially the uh, film which he directed named gopi gaine bhaga bhaine they have uh, he had to make a tiger act in it so he went to the bharat circus and asked for and asked for one uh, the trainer named mr tarot agreed to send a tiger at first the uh, uh, they went uh, to a guard to a for a bamboo forest and when they opened the cage the tiger sprouted out and it was so furious and it behaved uh, so rudely that they couldn't control it and the villagers got scary and the villagers got scary mm, after that uh, they were then the next day the next time they mr tarot came with the same tiger but that time the tiger just pranced up for uh, friend word forward and it then calmed down then they were able to shoot the scenes but uh, the camera was not working well so they had to shoot reshoot the scenes so they again selected a bamboo grove and then they there was the, the reshooting conducted Do you, uh, do you remember that please okay, carry on Bo- carry on borel ah yes borel it was conducted like that borel then then the camera uh, worked clearly then they was able to shoot the scenes required for them 
Okay, I thank you, Gauri Nandana. Actually, I think I, uh, nothing need to be supplemented. The whole thing is clear. Uh, still, uh, let me conclude what uh, she has said. Uh, Hollywood world. Sorry, dears, I got a call in between. Uh, so, Hollywood is uh, famous for making fi making films with animals and uh, how animal uh, how with animal actors uh, they earn money. How animal actors ma uh, made money and about the standings and the how the narrator. What is the name of the uh, narrator? Satyajit Ray. Yeah, Ray. Uh, and in his film, he plans to take a film with a tiger. And for that, he approached the uh, circus manager and he connected him to the ringmaster and his name was? Mr. Thorat. Mr. Mr. Yeah, yes. Yes, yes. And after that, uh, with their permission, and they agreed to bring the tiger to this shooting location. And at first, the new shooting was planned at uh, Bamboo Grove at Nautungram. And, but, uh, uh, I, but I decided earlier, the shooting was not really a success was was it a success no why because the tiger uh, jumps out of the cage and the villagers gathered there were too scared with the tiger and after that uh, also the camera was not uh, working properly when the tiger was under control and after that what happened after that a reshooting was decided at Boral. and uh, ah, yes and after uh, the tiger did its part well and the shooting was really a success this is what happens in the uh, chapter in the memoir what do you mean by memoir by the way yes. can anybody it's the, uh, it's the memories of a person if a person ah, yes it's from memories. that Memory, yeah, it's something like a biography. It can be associated with biography, but it is uh, not actually a biography. It's uh, always a memory. And he's uh, jotting down his memories. And uh, the main characters in the story can be the narrator itself and, uh, and of course, the ringmaster. Okay. Uh, then somebody, Sojin, can you please uh, off your mic? Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, this is what happens in a, uh, a, a memoir. Now, any doubts regarding this? Shall we move on to the discourses that can be asked? Anybody? Do you have any doubts? Please say, be free to ask. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay. Okay, ma'am. So, shall we move on to the discourses? Yes, so, uh, okay. What are the expected, what do you think are the expected discourses? The first uh, one, that is, of course, you may get comprehension questions. What do you mean by comprehension questions? An extract from the uh, textbook can be given, from the uh, chapter, from the memoir can be given, and uh, you can be asked questions from that. Okay, and uh, you can get a uh, grammar, uh, you, you may get a grammar question there, that is to identify, uh, maybe to identify a noun phrase from the given sentence or any clause you may get there. Okay, it may be a, a four to five mark question normally, where you have to find, I mean the comprehension question maybe. Uh, okay, somebody just gave me a message. Can you please explain lines written in early spring? If I get time, I'll surely do that. Okay. Uh, so, moving on with this lesson, uh, you may get comprehension. You uh, may get comprehension questions. And within that comprehension question, one question can be grammar part. If clause is uh, something uh, which you can get. And uh, the other one, that is you, you can get a difficult word and you may be, uh, you may be given the meaning. And you may be asked to find which word it is. Okay, from the given part. If 
meanings are asked then moving on to the next session you may be asked to write a notice okay that is uh, i'll just give you a question uh, the english club and the film club of your school decided to conduct a film festival on race festival uh, race film prepare the notice for the film festival and uh, i hope you may be knowing how to write the notice should i explain that in detail that is how to write a notice should i explain that in detail if you have doubts you can just ask me okay somebody has asked me to explain okay i will i will just give you the uh, uh, i'll just go through the grading indicator so that you will get the idea uh, the grading indicator is that is the first thing you have to write is to write the notice on top of that after that you have to uh, give the uh, you have to give the name of the school then the place then the title of the program that is to be conducted here what will be the title film uh, film fest film festival on race film that can be the film festival in this particular question then you have to mention the dtp do you know what is dtp in a notice date time place date time and place yes just remember to write dtp in every notice okay dtp a or formula eppadi manasikana you have to uh, you have to mention the date time when you when you means the place where the program is going to take place then you have to give details of the program then who, uh, which means who is inaugurating the program and who will be the chief guest after that uh, it should be in the appropriate layout and the format i i think you know what is to be written on the left hand side what on the right hand side all that those things then you have to use clear brief language and uh, then you have to specify who is issuing the notice that is uh, in this uh, one it is not uh, mentioning who is right giving the notice chala question la you may be asked you are the secretary of the english club of your school you are the convener of the english club like that if angane aan question engil you have to write it as the uh, convener convener write then you have to put the signature convener english club ada irikum the designation in which you have you will write the notice and you have to use proper salutation what do you mean by salute do you know what is salutation respected sir etc respected sir dear dear friends all that is salutation okay hope this is clear and then after all the all these things you have to mention the program details in which you can add uh, things like prayer who is who is going to uh, organize the prayer welcome speech the presentation address uh, inauguration chief guest felicitations and then vote of thanks i think this is clear isn't it Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, Mr. Teacher, you are not audible. Your mic is off, please. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Thank you, Mr. Teacher. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, now hope this is clear. And now the next discourse you can expect from this unit, from this particular chapter, is a formal letter. Hope you know what a formal letter is. Yes. Ah, uh, the letters are of two kinds: formal and informal. And here. a formal letter can be uh, you can be asked to write a letter to animal welfare board because you are using an animal for film shooting ray is uh, ray can write a letter to uh, ray for shooting the scene in which uh, this all these things were happening 
and at that time all these things were done and uh, what happened to the tiger tiger if you are using the tiger in a film you should uh, take prior uh, prior order from the uh, animal department and, and because wildlife animals are used in this film all those things you have to take apa angana where there you can be asked to write a formal letter animal welfare association you may be asked to write a letter what all will you include by writing a formal letter from address what to address from it uh, yes date sin date subject and salute ha uh. salutation yes body body of the letter what all should be uh, uh, should be included in the body of the letter it should have a good beginning then the idea should be conveyed properly and uh, a proper con- uh, conclusion should be there what can be a proper conclusion for a formal letter as far as a formal letter is concerned it is something uh, that we are doing formally isn't it so Uh, we can uh, just write and dispatching a favorable decision from you as early as possible i'm going to send and say the some to close here because it is something formal isn't it then after that you have to uh, take a leave uh, by writing a letter that is uh, by uh, the ending clause should be your sweet fully yours to truly etc then the signature and the name either or you should keep all this in which side of the margin left ha ah, okay yes, Okay, okay. Then this is something regarding that is you have to write both the sender's address and the receiver's address date. Uh, everything should be written. After that, uh, you may you can uh, get an informal letter also. That means a friendly letter also. They can uh, uh, like a question like this can be asked. They can share his feelings with his dear friend. How will that letter be? Prepare the likely letter. That can be a formal. you saw an informal letter that you can uh, get from this lesson uh oru baadi speed ay povunnundo no miss no ma'am if you have any doubts stop me there i'll uh, and clear it then and there okay then moving on to next discourse next you can get a newspaper report What do you mean by a newspaper report? Can anybody say what is a newspaper report? News about an incident uh, that comes in newspaper. Uh, a reporting something in a newspaper, and the uh, and the thing you have to keep in mind while writing a newspaper report. as it has to answer the five w's do you know what are the five w's that should satisfy a newspaper report you are writing what what then where why okay who what when where and why then a h how how that happened what happened who was the persons or the people involved in that incident when that happened where did that happen and why did that happen okay these are all the six questions that should answer the newspaper report that you are writing okay is that clear if yes ma'am if all these that is five w's and this yet to satisfy you can be sure that you can score very good marks in this newspaper report newspaper report is always a high level question it is considered as a high level question and uh, it it's always uh, asked for 7 to 8 marks normally okay then if uh, this uh, if this questions i other than we have a newspaper report uh, we all have the habit of keep skipping this question but if this satisfies all these five w's and this h you are sure that you will get the uh, full marks okay 
you can expect uh, as i said earlier you can expect a newspaper report that is uh, let me read out a question that was asked in uh, 2018 ray was shooting the scene in which uh, gobi and bhaga met the tiger when mr thorat opened the door of the case the tiger emerged with a loud roar and started straight at the villagers you are a reporter present at the scene prepare a newspaper report okay uh, the grading indicators that are taken into consideration while this question is graded are there any other points in okay and you will get marks that is uh, the idea should be brief and attractive it should have a good brief attractive headline it should in, uh, include the uh, w 5 w's and h and uh, was someone trying to ask me something like read outs ha ah, yes 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 place the time major events taking place then the how all things are organized uh, in the correct order then uh, how logically things are present and the language element it is very important how the things are reported engane report cheyina how things are reported so this is how a newspaper report can be asked now moving on to next discourse can i can i yes ma'am so we have already discussed three discourses not three four discourses what are they comprehension yes formal inter notice notice news yes. newspaper report and in formal letter also we have discussed now uh, abin can you uh, okay then moving on to next discourse it is uh, it is a narrative do you know what a narrative is retelling a story isn't it something is retelled retelling a story to someone okay if you are retelling a story to someone it is a narrative have you learned the story snake and the mera yes 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 it is a kind of narrative it is a story within a story don't you feel so yes ma'am have you ever noticed that adoru story ki agathalla story ana and the uh, homeopath is narrating the story or his story to his friends isn't it so narrative can be asked in two ways here i am giving you a question ray and the crew face many difficulties while shooting the scene within the with the tiger now prepare the narrative of the incidents that happened while trying to shoot the scene okay so after reading the uh, the memoir you are supposed to narrate that is your point of view you are supposed to write what happened that is from your point of view you have to find out if the question is asked in first person or third person if it is asked from your point of view or the narrator's point of view adhaidhi ipo first person ano third person ano nu krithyama identify the gen then write the story then it, you will score full marks in that question that is the only thing you have to identify okay is it clear Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Then moving, moving on to next discourse. Of course, a sure or a sure question in a question paper. What is it? Conversation. Conversation is their profile. Satyajit Ray's profile can be asked, isn't it? And I only made a profile to you. It uh, may not be Satyajit Ray's, but you can expect the profile of Satyajit Ray. and uh, you may have written it isn't it mm, yeah schools you may definitely have written the profile as array then adu parayanam illa alle you may be knowing how to write a profile after that moving on to 
uh, this is uh, something uh, and you maybe ask write up review speech okay prepare a write up of the story uh, of the memma the project tiger you happen to read the story uh, the uh, memma the uh, project tiger now prepare a review while writing a review it is something critical okay what do you uh, what do you know what do you, what do i mean by critical or what what is critical critically you are analyzing what happened then ningada you have to write here uh, on impression what did you feel why you read that memoir ningada point of view your point of view should also be written critical analysis of what happened in that chapter from your point of view okay this is uh, these are the expected questions now now uh the i'm uh, moving on to the other part that is what is the other part language elements what are the expected questions you can expect conversations conversation la what all things can you expect in the kind of conversation la expect ya question tag question tag if clause then had better would you mind had better okay framing but the wh questions and is so no questions then would you mind would you mind all these are the things that you can expect in a conversation as soon as as soon as uh, as though unless so that neither nor all these things can be us hope you all know how to uh, i don't it is no need for me to go into detail should i we won't get time if i go into detail these are the di dialogue completion okay this is dialogue completion uh, that is you will be given conversation you will have to uh, complete the conversation suitably using all these things that is a framing questions uh, either it can be wh questions or so no questions then question tags can be asked if clause uh, the three conditions hope you know oh, what are the three conditions if the question is positive the question tag will be negative okay 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 that is something connected with question tag okay all those things should be included then phrasal verbs can be asked editing can be asked phrasal verbs rendu tarathi choikya either you will be given the meanings and you have to find out uh, the correct phrasal verb according to that meaning from the uh, uh, it will be given below or you will just be given blanks and you will have to find the correct phrasal verbs ingana rendu tarathilum you can be given uh, questions from phrasal verbs okay then uh, you will have uh, errors uh, uh, there will be errors in the passage given and the errors may be will be underlined and you will have to edit the errors these are the possible questions from the chapter the project tiger hope this memoir is clear if you have anything to ask you can please please uh, feel free to ask okay there is a class i don't know that just it is an interaction so you can ask me ma'am write up na no narration no heading vende write up na no narration ano heading vekkende nare randinu heading eda okay അർജുൻ അർജുൻ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൂ ഉദ്ദേശിച്ചത് 
uh, some club or something like that or your behalf of your school and uh, you are going to interview Ray and you will have to ask uh, six questions that can also be asked. Now, uh, shall we move on to the screenplay? Dear children, shall we move on to screenplay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, which is the screenplay in the second unit? My sister's shoes. My sister's shoe. Very good. Now, uh, somebody please give me uh, the gist of my sister's shoe. Anything you want to put on there? Abhijit, Nete Aro Samsarikinan and Abhijit. Arangilim Parayu, please. You are wasting time. Ali loses his sister's shoe in a shop. Okay, Arjun, carry on. I'll help you. The shoe was collected by a gem collector. Uh, but okay. he didn't know that he... Uh, but he didn't know that the gem collector was take the shoe. Okay. And she was very, she was pa very panicked that her uh, sister's reaction... Um, she uh, said that she will uh, said to uh, her father and he will punish uh, him. Okay. 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 Thank you, Arjun, for that. And uh, dear children, who all are the characters in the screenplay? Sahra and Ali, Ali, Sarah, their parents, Sarah, Akbar Akka. And the gen collector. Yes, Akbar, the shopkeeper, and the gen collector. And the uh, Sh Ali, it's uh, he's an young boy. And Sarah, it's Ali's sister, Ali's father, Ali's mother, Akbar, and the gen collector. Akbar is the shopkeeper, isn't it? Then uh, what is happening in the beginning? How does uh, the story opens? Ali is uh, taking Sarah's shoe to be repaired from the cobra. And uh, he is getting back the repaired shoes and after that uh, he goes to a bakery and uh, he then proceeds to a vegetable shop to buy some potatoes and he keeps the shoes in the small gap between two boxes. Isn't it? That is what happened there. He keeps the packet in between two boxes of uh, boxes that he finds in that vegetable shop. A gen collector comes there. He picks that packet by mistake. But after that, Ali searches for the sh lost shoes everywhere, lost packet everywhere, but he's not able to find out that the box. Uh, after that, Ali, uh, Akbar, uh, uh, Akbar chases Ali out of his shop for destroying all the vegetable boxes there. And after that, uh, Ali returns home. Uh, he feels dejected. And uh, Ali tells Sara that her shoes are lost. And uh, how do they communicate? How do they communicate? Do you remember? Uh, uh, yes, they were writing, they were communicating by writing in the notebook, isn't it? They were doing their homeworks and they were communicating. Do you have, it, have, have that habit of communicating? Are your parents are near you? No. Okay, okay, good children. After that, uh, the Sarah expresses her, her displeasure for, and uh, he, he, she feels threatened to complain to father because uh, their mother, uh, she was seriously ill and uh, she feels that uh, her father won't be able to get the new shoes in this pathetic condition. Now, uh, Ali tells Sarah not to tell the, uh, his father about the no shoes. And Ali tells Sarah, what was the uh, what was the gift 
we can see what happened to ali and sara a question which you can expect as usual is any any doubts from uh, the story what i have said any doubts any points that you are not clear you may ask please Okay, uh, there are no uh, doubts. It seems, and you understood everything. Now you can expect a profile of Majid Majidi. Then after that, you can expect comprehension questions. Okay. Uh, then, uh, if you are asked to write a write-up, and this uh, this was a question I found out in a question pool where we have all those uh, previous question paper. Okay. That is, uh, I'm just reading out that question. Are films just a means of entertainment? Do you think films are films are instructional in nature? What are the functions of films? Based on your reading of the lessons, my sister Shu and Project Tiger prepare a write-up on the role of films in your society. Hope the question is clear. Should I read it once more? Yes, teacher. Uh, the question is like this: Are films just a means of entertainment? Do you think films are instructional in nature? What are the functions of films? Based on your reading of the lessons, my sister Shu and Project Tiger. Prepare a write-up on the role of films in your society. Okay, so then the lessons in a unit is considered, and you are asked to write a write-up. You have uh, you have to prepare a write-up on the role of films in your society. Okay. This this was a question that I found in question pool, and this question. Was asked in exam. Uh, I think it was 2015 or something like that. This question was asked. Now uh, you can expect a narrative. Ali made a few tail attempts to find out the shoes. On his way back home, Ali met one of his friends who invited him for a game. Although he could not join the game, he narrated the whole incident to the friend. Prepare the narrative. In this question. You need not write the whole thing, whole summary of the chapter. You need not uh, uh, include in this particular question. You just have to ins uh, write down the incident before reaching home. Hali, we tell it. Then that is the Mumbai la carrying a matra area. Madi. Okay. In this narrative, this particular narrative, you just have to write what happens before Hali reaches home. Apa vada saare konda reenda kari villa. Of course, you can include details of saara. ജസ്റ്റ് Well, uh, this is a example of a narrative that can be asked. Now you can, uh, you may be asked to write diaries. What is a diary? An experience. Yes, um, it's it is your personal feeling, isn't it? You express your uh, personal feelings and emotions in your diary, isn't it? It's something personal, and on this use first person. Uh, pronouns while writing diary. It happened to me. 
ബിക്കോസ് ഐ ആം റൈറ്റിംഗ് ദി ഡയറി ഇറ്റ് ഹാപ്പൺ ടു മീ എനിക്ക് എന്താണ് സംഭവിച്ചത് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വോട്ട് യു ഹാവ് ടു റൈറ്റ് വൈ യു റൈറ്റ് എ ഡയറി ഓക്കെ ദൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഓൾസോ ഷുഡ് ബി റെലവെന്റ് ടു ദി കം കണ്ടന്റ് യു ക്യാൻ യു ക്യാൻ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് എക്സ്ക്ലമേഷൻസ് എക്സ്പ്രഷൻസ് ഓ ദാറ്റ് വാസ് എ വണ്ടർഫുൾ ഡേ Oh, that was a sad day that happened to me. What a ter- terrible day it was. And you can add uh, small, small sentences, broken sentences you can include. We don't have to say anything in our diary. So you can include broken sentences, expressions. It should, uh, it should be uh, power packed with the feelings you feel. What it should be emotionally packed. That is something that makes a diary a better one. The best one. I'm going to you have a better best diary. Okay. Then after that you can get uh, of course you can get a write up reviews notice you are screening uh, the uh, this film and uh, you may be uh, as the arts club secretary or the as the film club secretary or the convener of your school you may be asked to uh, draft a notice. Then of course moving on to the uh, what language elements or gram- grammar portion you can expect the same things uh, like what are all the things you can expect teacher o oh. diary avasanavikkumbodhekku namukku good night ennu ezhudan pattu good night na edudunnathu kondu thettilla because you are writing uh, you can write your feelings to your diary diary is a personality consider it you can write there is nothing wrong in writing uh, a good night but if you don't write good night also you get marks and there is must or no allah okay ma'am oh yes ma'am where should we write the day and date everything uh, it is better to stick on to the left margin okay ma'am then uh, you can expect the uh, the same thing as i said earlier uh, question tag is cross Uh, w is question, S or no questions, all those things you can expect here also. Uh, if close, uh, all had better, all those things. Then moving on to uh, the phrasal verbs. Nairita Parnada Bolana, two times can be asked. Either you may be given meaning or, uh, or else you will have to find the correct one. Then uh, reported speech can be asked. Our first time we have to go to the reported speech. Reported speech. speech can be asked you will be given a conversation let me ask you something can you uh, just give me the answer sara why are you upset upset and ali replies i lost your shoes in the vegetable shop how will you report this there is a conversation between sara and ali ali asked sara ha huh. why she was sad ah okay why he was upset then what was ali's rep- ali re- i lost your shoes in the vegetable shop that is the reply ali gave ali replied that mm. he he uh, lost he lost he had shoes. lost he, he had, had lost ah yes he had lost her shoes in the market in the in the oh, okay in the vegetable shop or in the market okay uh, that was just an example then uh, these are the questions that you can expect from this uh, particular chapter that is the uh, sister my sister shoes now moving on to the sixth one in the textbook the third one in this unit shall we teacher shall we any doubts any doubts dears no ma'am okay thank you moving on to uh moving on to the next poem what is this what is the name of the poem this blowing in the wind blowing in the wind what is blowing in the wind answer to the question answer to the question answer to the question is blowing in the wind isn't it it's is such a beautiful poem by beautiful song bob actually, dylan by bob dylan. bob dylan 
or Bob Dylan or Bob Dylan. You can, uh, I, okay. So, how and when was this poem written? How and when was this poem written? The poem was written when Vietnam War was going on. Yes, Vietnam War was happening when it was civil right? rights movement. During the time of uh, civil rights movement, he believes that the answer is there, but no one dares to answer the questions that he is raising, isn't it? The answer is everywhere. The answer is everywhere, but no one dares to answer the questions that he raises. The ill effects of the civil rights movements during the Vietnam War are disclosed in this poem. It can be considered, can't be considered as a protest song. Protest song. He's protesting, he's raising his protest, isn't it? Don't yes, you feel so? Ah, yes, he's raising his uh, protest against what is happening around him. And he poses a series of rhetorical questions about peace, war, freedom. What do I mean by rhetorical questions, by the way? Questions in which answers are present in them. Sorry. Answers are... Answers are... Absent. There itself in the question. Yes, that is no particular answers are there. When a question is posed to make a point, not because you want an answer. We are not asking that question. But the answer is there. Or the answer is obvious and it does not need, uh, need to be stated. Or to create a strong effect that stating what you mean directly. Directly to parayin ene kati iru kuttu uduttu parayin ene Like that, a rhetorical question is being asked in this particular point. Here, he poses a series of rhetorical questions about peace, war and freedom. A refrain is used in this poem. What is the refrain used? Do you know what a refrain is? If something is repeated, what is repeated in this uh, this particular poem? Answer is blowing in the wind. The and the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Isn't it? That is the refrain used in this poem. All these things you can include while you write a appreciation of this particular poem. So this is a, part, a, this is a protest song which poses a series of rhetorical questions about peace, war and freedom. And here the ill effects of civil rights movements during Vietnam War. Uh, is raised and he believes, he means the poet believes that the answer is there but no one is daring to find it out or to see it out. That is what is happening in this particular poem. Uh, can you give me some uh, rhyming words in this poem? Man, sand. Yes, see, free, sky, cry, all these are. Rhyming words, example of rhyming words. Then, uh, is there any visual image in this poem? Auditory image, visual image, any images are in there in this poem? Visual image. Visual image. Okay, can you just give me one or two visual images? Roads, doves, mountain, sea. Cannon, uh, sky, people, all those can be considered as visual images. Then auditory images, what about auditory images? What appears to your ears? What you can hear while reading this poem? Can't you, can't you hear the flying of cannonballs? The sound of flying of cannonballs? Then the cry of people. All those are examples of auditory image from the poem. Okay. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. Is this clear? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, so, let me ask you something. What are the symbols used in this poem? Cannonballs. 
cannon balls mountains cannon balls what does it uh, signify wars war wars then mountains uh do 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 represent peace then uh, roads roads then what does road represent life experiences ah uh, then sky sky what does sky freedom freedom freedom, freedom. Mm-hmm. yes yes all those are the symbols now you can expect comprehension questions appreciation of this poem and profile of book dylan from this particular from this particular part so what are other things you should include while writing an appreciation can you just give me poetic devices about the poem about the poet about the poet theme of the poem theme of the poem how tone of the poem tone of the poem then the summary of the poem poetic devices poetic devices summary then our opinion a personal point of view about how the poem was to you how did it appeal to you your personal point of view should also be included in the poem that is poem's name poet's name the theme the line structure summary of the given lines rhyming words rhyming scheme opinion about the poem these all are the things that you can add while you write the appreciation okay this is all about the second unit that i have to convey to you if you have anything to ask me you can it's an arjun i didn't hear you please an arjun alla kripa krishna kripa okay uh, but it is displayed as arjun sorry for that yeah. and in the account ah okay it's okay kriba you have do you have anything is the lines written in early spring ah uh, lines ah uh, okay okay lines written in early spring okay please wait let me take those uh, lines okay my textbook on that thought let me take that textbook okay by the way how does that uh, uh, poem starts ingena mm-hmm. start in the poem i heard i heard a thousand blended no i heard a thousand blended notes the first line itself is a poetic device hyperbole and, uh, hyperbole uh, hyperbole what do you mean by hyperbole a karyathine bhangirayittu eduthu peripichu kaanikke alle i heard a thousand blended notes is an example of hyperbole as well as as well as auditory image. auditory image auditory image very good it is also an example of auditory image that was a comprehension question asked previously now moving on to this uh, poem who wrote this beautiful poem william wordsworth william wordsworth william william wordsworth the lines written in early spring by william wordsworth he is a nature poet and in this particular poem he praises the uh, glory of he praises the glory of nature and like all other beings man does not live in harmony with with nature do you feel so do you feel so that man is not living in harmony with nature yes ma'am yes in this uh, particular poem a poet says that unlike all all other creatures human beings are not living in harmony with nature and the uh, poet is lamenting what do you mean by lamenting he is uh, actually regretting man's cruelty towards nature okay that can be considered as the theme of the poem in two uh, sentence or in a sentence now moving on to the rhyming words in the poem uh, can you just give me the rhyming words in the poem Notes, thoughts, reclined, reclined, man, 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 man,
words in the poem. So the rhyming scheme obviously will be A B A B A B A B. A, B. Key of the poem and the figure of speech in this poem. What is personification? Giving life to an unliving thing. I didn't get you. I I didn't hear you. Giving life to an unliving thing in a poem in a poem or giving human qualities. Human giving human qualities to non-human things, isn't it? Human nature is personified in the line to her fair was with nature link. If such be nature's holy plan, nature's holy plan. Here, nature is personified in this particular poem. Okay. Now there is alliteration in this poem. What do you mean by alliteration? Repetition of consonant sounds. Consonant sounds. Repetition of consonant sound. The first consonant sound. It it should be the same line, isn't it? Ah, uh, what man has made of man is an example of alliteration. Alliteration. Is it the sound is repeated? Mer sound. Not m. It is mer sound. Okay, m. Malay. Only can alphabet letter repeat here. But then it is a sound. Consonant sound. Mer sound is repeated. And it the uh, and it is my faith from that every flower first sound is repeated there. Now you have plenty a uh, number of visual images. What are they? Visual images in this poem? Flowers, primrose stuff. Ah, uh, flowers, green, green flower, uh, flower, etc. Example: Somebody sharing the screen. Abhira Majida ah. is presenting. Can you please stop presenting? Okay, that is what is happening there. Uh, then, what about the auditory image? As we discussed earlier, I heard a thousand blended notes is an example of auditory image. Auditory, auditory image. image. So, is this clear? Uh, Kriba, is this clear? Kriba, you asked me, isn't it? Yes. Yes, teacher. So, uh, any more doubts? Uh, what man has made of man is also a rhetorical question. Yes. Uh, what? Ah, yes, it can be considered. Also repeated in uh, stanzas, the refrain. Children, hope uh, Krishna teachers' network is not steady. Please wait. Okay. Sunda teacher, I'm teacher. I'm here. Oh, okay. Okay. So, hope everything is clear regarding the second unit. Ma'am, then there is peace in this unit. Uh, sorry, I didn't get you. Uh, Ma'am, can there is speech in this unit? Speech. Can you get a speech question? Yes, of course you can get. You can get questions. Okay. Okay, children, it's now time for feedback. Uh, give us a, a feedback. Nearly and uh, ninety-five participants are here. Please, anyone come forward? Ma'am. Yes, you can. 
Ma'am, uh, first of all, I want to thank you uh, for your wonderful class. Through this class, all of us got an opportunity to understand the second unit well. It was a wonderful class taken by you. Uh, throughout the class, you kept us active in the discussions. Uh, ma'am, once again, I am thanking you for sparing your precious time taking class to us. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, Lisha teacher, Sunita teacher, and my dear children for patient listening, asking doubts. And uh, if you have any doubts, you can uh, ask me. You can uh, call me. Okay, thank you, Krishna teacher, for joining with us and sharing your valuable time for us. And I hope this class is very useful to all the participants here. Thank you once again. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher.